Alright, what is up? Here I am, bringing you the guide on Spider. Now, I'm going to start off with the basics, then go into some tips that I have with Spider, and sort of talk about matchups, like I have done with my other two guides. Spider's been asked for quite a lot by a lot of people. It's a very strong class. It's labelled as a mobility class and a rusher class. And that just means it's quicker getting around the map, and its leap means that it's also good at rushing withers because you can really easily get into wither rooms. Let's start off by going over the abilities and the kit. The kit's actually very basic, it's just a diamond sword, your standard healing potions, and diamond boots with protection 1. Not the best kit off the bat. The sword does have Bane of Anthropods 4 on. I think that's 4. Yes it is. That does not deal extra damage to withers, which was often thought, but it does deal extra damage to spiders, so sure. Not the class, not the class, the actual mob. They appear sometimes. It's, it's a pointless enchantment, basically, is what I'm trying to say. You also do get an iron shovel, which gives you an alternate to using an axe in deathmatch. A lot of people use an axe. If you're not using an axe, you should be using an axe, unless you're playing spider. You can use a shovel, or even take a shovel and an axe, sometimes people uh, will be doing that. The ability, Leap, the main ability, will send you flying in the air, and wherever you land, you'll deal 5 damage and gain 4 hits of Venom Strike. This ability is what makes Spider the best class in the game at the moment. You get 8 energy per hit, 4 energy per second, and you also get uh, 20 energy from this passive skitter we'll talk about in a sec. And it means that you can get leap really fast and be dishing out 5 true damage over and over and over whilst getting the absorption. And if you're not taking full damage, you're basically just healing 2 hearts. And you get regen 1, so you're, you're healing this whole time. And you're getting venom, venom strike, which is just extra damage. And you're giving everyone slowness. It's just... It's insane. It's why Spider is so strong in a hole right now. It's why it can beat a lot of well-known hole classes like Zombie. And it's why it's good above ground because you can chase people down with this leap. It's important to note that if you're holding a shift while you leap, you perform a slightly different type of leap that is sh sort of shorter distanced and more arced. I would normally use the shift leap unless I'm really trying to get a long distance across the map to to catch up with someone because the shorter leap it tends to be more useful for just dishing out damage. The first passive here is Venom Strikes and it says uh, taking full damage gives you 20% increased damage per 2 HP lost. Basically what this is doing is giving you a, a weaker version of what Herobrine or Dread get on kill. It's just 20% increased damage on every sword hit. And you can have up to 5 Venom Strikes, up to 5 hits. And you already get 4 of these, I think it's 4, 4 hits of this whenever you use your leap. So when you leap on someone, you deal the initial damage, and you get 20% more damage for each hit. And that is why you need to keep leaping as much as you can whilst you're in the middle of a fight. The next passive is Skitter. And if you consume 4 hits of Venom Strike, which is the number you get from your leap, you will gain speed 1 and 20 energy. So this is really good for if you're in a hole and you're just absolutely rampaging on someone. You keep getting 20 energy back after every time you use your ability which means you can keep on leaping keep on dealing more damage it's a circle it's it's it's, it's why spider's really good uh, and the gathering talent is every time you mine a dirt sand sort of shovely block i don't think clay counts you'll drop an iron ingot it just means that spider's an iron class it means you can get iron for about three people in a game because you can get about three stacks and that is all there is to the kit. Alright, now normally I would talk about uh, the matchups that Spider is going to come across. I'd show every class how well Spider can deal against them. But Spider is the best class in the game. It can deal against any class extremely well. Obviously there are some classes that can deal with better. And there are some classes that have a, a, a better chance of beating it. 
but overall spider can be any class if played right which is why if you're coming across a good spider you need to be prepared to drink a health pot if you want to beat them it is it's going to come down to your your just raw pvp whether you beat a spider normally so you should definitely be prepared to drink a health pot because if you drink a health pot and the spider has none left you'll be able to kill him with most classes now because I'm not doing matchups, instead I'm going to talk about how to beat Spider and how to play Spider using a really cute Photoshop file, which sort of just explains the point. Let's say that there are five red team against five blue team, and if you are playing Spider, the number one thing you want to do is just keep applying pressure, being really aggressive. So if this middle character here is, is our Spider, and the first thing he does when he sees this group of blues is leap in. These blues will see the spider coming and they're going to instinctively, most of them will, some won't. And this is the thing with Mega Wolves. Because they know in their heads that if they want to win the game, they're going to have to live. And seeing a spider coming at you does not look like something that you can live from. So let's say that some of them start to run away because they want to save their life and then lives and they don't want to die so these three run away and you're sort of just left with two people who actually stay and fight because you as a spider has intimidated them it's kited out some enemies made them run away made them retreat you have now got only two people left to deal with so when your team come in you can easily 5v2 and pick up two players and once you've killed these two blues that stayed around your team can instantly begin chasing down one of the one of the players that's run off and you can just kill them from behind because in Mega Wolves if you were running from someone you die a lot of the time you need to just be taking these fights which is why in this case if you were if you were blue and you saw a spider coming towards you instead of running away try and avoid the leap so you miss the initial damage but then if you just actually fight this spider chances are you can either drop him make him pot or just really scare him into retreating before the rest of his team catch up and if the spider gets too low to fight and he has to dip suddenly it becomes a 5v4 for you and you've instantly swung the fight around but most people really are too scared to fight a spider and that's why spider is so strong and that is why you should abuse this when you play spider just leap on big groups of people make them run make them scared and then get some exit frags as they are trying to leave the fight okay next i want to talk about the main the main thing about spider which is the leap when to use it and to do this i'm going to be using some clips from prod and Meep because they are definitely the two best spider players that are uploading and if you want to improve your spider gameplay i recommend you go watch these guys because they're just insane with spider uh, and this first clip is we're going to look at we're going to look at we'll just watch the clip first so he's chasing a shaman he leaps on the shaman and it ends up with them with them getting the kill now let's just go back a second and look at why this is a good time to leap so the first thing he does which you have to notice when he's uh, beginning to move on the shaman is he checks behind him to see that his team are following because if he leaps and his team are not going to be there to back him up he suddenly has to deal with a 2v1 which he will most likely lose but he checks his team are there he knows they're there he knows he can engage and then he, he's watching the shaman and how the shaman is moving. At this point, the shaman has nowhere to go other than into the wither room. Maip knows this, which is why he uses his leap to try and get in front of where the shaman is going to be, block him off and kite the shaman back towards his team. Unfortunately, he slightly misses it. You probably would have wanted to land, if I can get to the right frame... You wanted to land where this werewolf is currently standing because that perfectly splits off the werewolf and the shaman and it means the shaman has nowhere to go and the shaman would have died quicker. He slightly misses it because he clips this truck which means the shaman can get into the wither room but because he was so aggressive the werewolf had to turn and help out and it, it does end up in a kill. Alright this is another clip from Maip. Um So we have an automaton who's running down a tunnel and this is a good time to leap simply because of the fact it's very hard to miss this leap 
no matter what happens, you're going to try and go for a long distance leap. You'll clip your head on the roof and it will pull you down and mean that you hit the player running in the tunnel. If you're the only person chasing, maybe don't do this because if you go too far and the automaton is looking behind him, he'll just turn and run the other way. But the auto's on 9 health, the leap is going to just secure the kill quite nicely. Out goes the leap and he gets the kill in in half a second. Alright, the next clip I'm going to look at is a clip, it's one of my clips from one of my videos. And this is another time to leap. There are so many good times to leap, yet there are also so many bad times. Which is why just looking at the good times is the best way to know, to practice. So in this situation, it is um, pre, pre DM. So it's not going to punish me if I miss my leap because an important thing with Spider is you need two hits to start the energy per second. And if you don't get those two hits in deathmatch, it can actually cause you a lot of grief. But in this case, all of a team are running into a hole. And because there are so many people in this hole, I'm going to hit my leap on someone. And it's really important just to start spamming my leaps so that I can always have Venom strike up and be dealing 20% extra damage which is what I do. It doesn't actually lead to any kills, it might lead to some assists, but the fact that I use my leap as much as I can does mean that I'm just dishing out damage as much as I can, which is really important with Spider because you are one of the best DPS in the game. All right, this is the final clip I wanna look at, I promise. So in this clip, this is, I have my leap, we're chasing someone. I know that in order to kill this guy, I want to close the ground with my leap. So I'm now trying to choose when is the best time to leap? Look at where he's running. He's heading towards the Dragon Keep pre-build. And instantly, I know the best time to leap will be as he's passing through the choke. Because if I can stop him getting through that choke point, through this single entrance into Yellow Pre, he's, he's got nowhere else to run. So I save my leap. I could leap now and try. But I save and save until I can get right into the choke. Unfortunately, I slightly miss it. But it still, it still works out because this choke is just so tight. It lets my team catch up. It means that this Shaman ends up hitting himself. He hits the top of the uh, iron barrier, slows him down, slows him down. I easily get my leap back and he just, he just dies off of me uh, getting so much damage in the, at that point. Ideally, I would have actually got in front of him, stopped him passing through the choke, which I didn't do. But I got close enough to that point that we could secure the kill on him. Alright, so another thing to add. Um, when you leap, everything that you land on around you gets destroyed. So it's really important to know that what you can do to stop this is simply place a block where you're going to land and it will destroy this block and nothing else. So if I'm chasing someone and I don't want to trip up, all I have to do is use my leap and Wow. Alright, now there's no torches around. All you have to do is use your leap and place a block where you land. And as you can see, it only destroyed the block I placed and nothing else. Which means I'm not going to trip up if I'm using this to chase someone. Okay, final two points about the leap and then I'll move on. Um, if you want to leap on the spot, all you have to do is look at the ground. You can look straight up as well, I think. But it's easier to look down. Hold shift and then you just click and you will leap exactly on the spot. And finally, after going over everything for aggressive leaping, the leap can actually also be used really defensively to get away. And in order to like leap up onto the edge of the map or something, to get maximum height, what you want to do is have a run up, jump and look up as high as you can when you use the leap. And then you can look down a bit more if you need to to angle it. And that is how you get up as high as you can with Spider. You can use this to jump up just to high places that are pre-built, such as onto towers, up like, uh, like how I've just leaped now. Or you can do it to get on the side of the map where the barrier blocks are. Final thing with Spider before I finish this video off is that while it is such an aggressive class with such high damage, it does not have the best health pool. So once you've leaped, leapt, leaps, leapt, on a big group of enemies and you've dealt as much damage as you can you want to back out when you get to about half health um, go and find a phoenix or use some gaps or just wait for natural regen before you go back into a fight because you don't want to leap into a fight get really quickly dropped and then have to health pop for no reason that is not how you play spider you're not throwing your health away 
you're just scaring people. So if they don't take your bait, if they don't run away, if they don't scatter, if they do try and fight you, get out, let your team come and help, because that is what other classes are better for. But that is it, that is everything I have to say for this video. I hope I've explained enough about Spider, if I haven't, go into the comments and I will happily talk more about it, talk about more ways of leaping and stuff. Uh, other than that, comment what guide you want next, I will try and get some more guides out quicker now, hopefully. Yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe.